It's been a year into coding and I can't lie, it's been quite traumatizing. And I still remember my first course was the Python introduction from Codecademy. And man, it's been uh, quite the ride. However, in this video, I just wanted to share a couple of things that I have learned one year into coding. Again, I'm no expert. You know, there are some other programmers out there that have been coding for like 20, 30 years. But I feel like this could provide value to a lot of you who are either, you know, new to coding or want to get into coding and want to know what it's like about one year into coding. Now, the first thing I've learned about programming after one year is that it is a process, not an event. Now, what do I mean by it's a process, not an event? Because I've said this quite a bit on the channel. What I've noticed with a lot of our community here is that we tend to be absolute Gilberts and we expect to learn code at a certain point of time. This is not the right way to go about programming. Instead, you're better off looking at it as a process that takes time to flourish. Like look at a plant, right? It's not like one day the plant goes from a soil, I guess you could say, to the full grown plant. You see it slowly grow. And then over time, as a result of you watering it, it grows into this beautiful plant that came about as a result of a slow process. You wanna be like that plant. We should break it down into different things, right? Coding is not this one thing. So like, let's say we're learning web development, right? It's not this one big thing. Web development is a series of a bunch of things. For example, you may have to learn HTML and within HTML, you might have to learn a couple of things. You have to learn, let's say for loops in JavaScript. You have to learn CSS basics. Maybe you have to learn Tailwind. It's a series of things that once you check off eventually, you will have this sort of resume that will make you a coder, but it all starts with completing each thing and getting good at them, thus a process-oriented approach to coding. The next important thing I've learned after one year of coding is to read the documentation. Now, I can't lie, this one took me some time to accept, but I know a lot of us self-taught developers, maybe you watching the video, don't like reading documentation when we're lost. So let's say we're learning JavaScript, right? Rather than when being lost, going to a tutorial or a video or chat GPT, read the documentation. You'll, you'll realize how much you firstly don't know. And secondly, you'll understand the concept that you're trying to grasp more because you're reading it from the people that have created the thing that you are using. And another thing about documentation is that although no one really reads it, it has the most information. Again, these are the people that created the thing you are using. So why not just get it straight from the source rather than someone that has to summarize it for you? Now, the next thing I learned after one year of coding is, is that you learn code by coding. So what do I mean by like learn code by coding? Like, what does this mean? If you know anything about the channel, you kind of know where I'm going with this. What I see a lot of us, some of you watching the channel do is you think that you will learn code by watching videos, by reading, by doing a course like Free Code Camp or The Odin Project. That is not how you learn code. Instead, you should look at those courses as a way to inform yourself on what is out there. So let's say you're like a new JavaScript developer and you wanna learn JavaScript. Don't look at JavaScript courses as this way to learn. JavaScript. Look at it as a way to know what's going on. Like, oh, I know that for loops exist. Okay, cool. I know how while loops exist. Cool. I know what functions are. I can, I can kind of understand what they mean. And thus, when you're done the course where you will truly learn, and I wish I told myself this a year ago, where you will truly learn is through actually coding on your own and building projects. And no one wants to tell you this because it does not make anyone any money. Like no one wants to buy a course by, from someone that says you should just code by coding because it's free, right? But that's the honest truth. That is how you will get better at code. You, will, you should take the information that you have learned through these courses, which are very valuable, and then apply it into your own life. And I know Yes, it's going to be difficult. Yes, it's not going to be fun, but you will learn. I swear to you, 20 to 30 times more when you do this. I was so stupid. I always tried to do more courses. That's all I tried to do. But that's not the, the true way and the ideal way of learning code by coding, code by coding. It's the easiest, most simple thing you can ever do, but no one wants to do it because it's so simple yet so difficult. Now, the final thing, it's not really like a lesson, but I think it's quite important to touch upon. It is that it'll eventually be fun. What do I mean by it's eventually going to get fun, right? Like, is our, isn't code already fun? Not really. The first couple months of your programming journey, man, it's going to be so tiring, so difficult, and you're going to hate it. That's just the truth. Maybe you're, you're doing this right now, but just 
understand that once you grasp the concepts and you start improving, coding eventually gets fun. I didn't really build a project for the first few months and I never saw the output of my efforts. You know, I was just doing courses, I was watching videos and I never built something. However, once you start building, once you start improving, that is where coding gets really addictive and very fun. And right now, I don't think I can go two days without coding, just optional. Yes, it's gonna, it's, it's hard. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit difficult. Once you're able to use your skill to do stuff, like you build the app you want, maybe make something that is a bit cool, then it gets so freaking fun. Like I can't believe how fun it is to code. It's one of the most important parts of my day. I, I literally love it. And it all came as a result, and it perfectly sums up everything, of thinking like a process by just constantly showing up, doing the work, expecting nothing, and learning all these concepts to eventually you know, get good at coding, reading documentation to improve my knowledge on a specific concept or language, and then doing projects. All of these things, although difficult, will eventually lead to programming being fun. But anyways, we made it a little bit of a mess, but uh, these are some couple of things that I've learned after one year of coding. Again, I'm no expert, but you know, I've built some applications and I did it all in about a year. So I hope you've gained value. And if you, you want to join the community, you want to be like us and not be Gilberts, then uh, join the Discord community. It's absolutely free. So I'll leave that in the uh, description below. We have like a really nice community. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.